watching kidstoppress.com with me Mansi and the product we're going to review today is called Outnumber by Logic Roots. Before we get into the product, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do that. It is at Kidstop Press. And if you like the review, then don't forget to give us a thumbs up after the video. Maps is usually seen as a topic of uh, fear. You know, I can't do it. I get scared. Those are the common connotations that you have with maths. But I think Logic Roots makes it very interesting. Logic Roots is a company that's basically in a making math games. They're a group of IITians who've started this. This is how the game comes. It's, this is the outnumber box. I think it's really cool, compact. Very easy to carry along if you are looking at traveling with this game as well. Uh, it is aligned to NC Singapore, NCERT and uh, NCTM US uh, math standards. So I think that is another uh, huge advantage. So whatever curriculum you're following, you can still use Logic Roots. Uh, you still use Outnumber as a fun game. Uh, so this is how the box, you get a couple of cards and I'm going to take you what those cards are. So you have 1 to 20. Uh, cards number one to number 20 in terms of numbers so you could use this in the initial years as flashcards For example this is number one number 16 number 17 what's also interesting is that they haven't made these numbers you know plain flashcard like number one they've added color they've added character so I think that also makes it very interesting so when you are using these initial years right from say junior kindergarten or senior kindergarten at about three and a half or four years you could use these as play flashcards for your children then on when they learn, begin to learn number names you could use these for example here you have O-N-E-1 T-W-O-2 so this is when they obviously begin to learn number names as well going all the way up to 20 you could also teach you know play a fun game like you know have one and two and then match each one of them so example these could be into a fun math the following so you have say if, if they've learned only up to one to five then you could have one to five uh, you know in a jumbled manner and match the you know the number number with the number card what you could also do is play a memory game face it face down and ask them okay I have one can you find uh, the number one with it so that could be another interesting game with it what they also do is have something like this which is the value okay given in terms of an illustration so example nine so nine pieces in a cube or one moon or four you know four suits in a card uh, in a in a pack of cards or number six on a die so that's different ways of also semiotically remembering that this is so many example rainbow in a seven colors number seven is associated with the rainbow or three stumps now it makes it a lot of fun and interaction for the children instead of just learning all the time as parents we draw three stars or three you know three balloons so this makes it a lot of fun and you also associate that number with a value that is actually used in real life in the indian context which makes it a lot more fun example ravan has ten heads now you could you know, this is something that's never going to go out of your child's mind because he's learned it in a fun way. You could even do, you know, sequencing. So, example, 1 to 20 or 1 to 10, uh, wherever and whatever level your child is at. Place them uh, all in a row and say fill in the blanks with a couple of numbers. You could also, you know, do math addition like this. So, 16 plus 1 would give you what? Another very interesting way that they have tried to do addition is 7 plus 10. So this is like a plus sign in the middle and they could actually use these cards. Then the next would be say 10 plus 6. Because the child has already learned these as, uh, as a value, it will be very easy for them to do the addition. Okay, so 9 plus 10. So that makes it again interesting. You know, the Olympic rings. So again, 5 plus 10 makes it very, very interesting. What you as a parent could do is play various games with them. So example, we tried something like using one number card, one name card and trying to do a value card. So 9 plus 1 is 10, 10 plus 10 is 20. So that makes it very very uh, interesting for the child. You could also do subtraction in the sense of do, uh, you know, 9 minus 1 is how much or you could do 10 minus 1 is how much. You could pick and choose your permutation combination. You could do addition and subtraction. So 9 plus 1 
minus 10 is how much. So you could pick and choose your game. What makes logic roots, the, the game by logic roots outnumber very very interesting is you could tweak and suit it to your child's level or the child's ability or which stage he is learning math in. So I think that is a huge advantage with this game. Uh, you could shop for them on logicroots.com and if you haven't subscribed to our channel already then make sure you do. It is at Kidstop Press. That's our YouTube channel. And if you haven't given a thumbs up already, then please, please, please definitely try and do that. So thank you so much and stay tuned and we will be back with a lot more videos.